Hi, this is Jok for GitLab.com. In this video, I'm quickly showing you how you can test drive GitLab. The easiest way is probably to go to demo.gitlab.com. Here there is a test account. You can log in. And here you can try some of the features of GitLab. A lot of features have been disabled, but it's nice to have a look around the projects. A better way probably to demo GitLab is to make a GitLab Cloud account. This is our own hosted GitLab. You can sign in, for instance, with your Google, Twitter, or GitHub account. You can create a unique GitLab Cloud account. And when you sign in, you have all the features of GitLab available to you. You can make, for instance, a project, host your code here, do whatever you want. You can create up to a thousand projects and it's used by thousands of people every day. Lastly, what might be nice is if you want to have a look at the administration controls um, or see how it is to have your own GitLab uh, server. DigitalOcean has a really easy way to do this. If you create a droplet, make, one, make sure that you choose one that is big enough. Give it a name, test GitLab, test. Then you can simply select applications, GitLab. It's not always the latest version, as you can see here, we are currently the latest version is 6.6.5, but it will probably be good enough for you to have a test drive. You can add your SSH key and create your droplet. And within a minute, you have a fully running GitLab instance. I have one prepared here, where you can go to, and then you can simply log in with the root username and the preset password. You can find it here in the installation doc. Create a new password. Log in again with your new password. And now you have a fully working GitLab instance on your own server. You now can explore the administration area and many of the other features. Have fun exploring GitLab.